Oh, I was up early this morning looking at the uh, moon eclipse of the super blue blood moon <clears throat> energy that was out there, and that was awesome. I tied that together with the with the January 1st energy, and it is massively awesome on the planet right now. So I am going to be having a really good day today. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm assuming... Y'all saw the healing thing that I put up with the group. Uh, anybody can use that, and I, I'm no expert on that sort of thing. I was just kind of going with the flow as it was. But it kind of gives you an idea, because everyone um, has the capability of healing others and healing themselves. So I encourage all of you to use whatever manner that works for you. Like I said, you can use candles and uh, crystals or mantras or, um, well, anything. Anything that works for you so that you can kind of get yourself in a state where you just kind of relax and learn to feel your energy moving through your body. And, of course, the physical way is that you will be, your muscles will be tight and you'll have pain. And when you've got that tightness and that pain, that's energy that's not flowing right. But by using color or uh, energy, feeling the energy as it goes through your body, then you can identify where you need to move it along, move it along. And really, you can do this pretty easily the more you believe it. You can do it with just saying, oh, okay, I want this energy to move through my body. But until you're really sure of yourself and, and know that that will work, then you can use all this other stuff like um, uh, candles and light and crystals or um, aromatherapy, music. Any of those things can work in healing your physical body. Be sure and talk to your physical body. I talk to my physical body a lot uh, because, as you know, I've said this before, that me and my physical body, there's a big gap there because I'm not very experienced in being a 3D um, physical being. So I talk to my body more and more and more and more and try to communicate better in giving it what it needs. Uh, the activity that it needs, the movement that it needs, the food that it needs, the water that it needs, just everything of what it needs energetically. Now today, I, w I really thought about that today because of the the uh, moon, what was going on with the moon. And there's such unique energy that comes in off the moon. It's very different than the energy that comes in off the sun. And it's uh, when used in conjunction with that sun energy, for me this morning, it really, really helped a lot in the healing process. Um, I've got food poisoning or a bit of this flu or whatever yesterday. So it was a little bit draggy. So I've used it this morning, that moon energy, with the sun energy uh, later on in the morning to help talk to my human body and get that energy moving so that it'll make me feel better. Whenever you're healing somebody else, make sure that you remember that you need to heal yourself first before you heal somebody else. Because if you heal somebody else when you're not healed, then that slowly depletes your body and it can cause great harm after a while. Okay? So make sure that you learn how to heal yourself first. And uh, yeah, and then use that same concept to heal the other person and then teach the other person how you heal yourself. Because ultimately in 5D, that's what we're all going to be doing. We're all going to be able to heal ourselves. Only it'll be much, much faster. Much, much faster. Now, since today, since I've been looking out after the, the new moon energy out here, certainly what I've looked around at is a lot sparkly, more sparkly, uh, earth as I look out there, which is good news for me. That means I'm heading more towards 5D. That and the magical creatures that I can see a lot more of them out of the peripheral of my vision. So uh, maybe someday if I can see them well enough, I, I'm not, I'm kind of a more of an abstract artist, but I would love to be able to draw some of these creatures too. Not just Stephanie, but me too. 
So anyway, I wanted to just talk to you guys a little bit about the healing. And you can watch that video. Anybody can. And kind of get more in touch with your healing uh, forte. And everybody has kind of a healing forte. What, what they heal do best. And how they heal best. Usually it has something to do with your past. Whatever it is that you've had past in. Whether it's uh, mental illness to physical illness of one kind or another that usually is how you are you are best at healing that particular thing and so you can start there which is why i say heal yourself first and then help others help other people oh look at this inca got me in the eye <laughs> we were playing yesterday all right guys well i just wanted to reach out and say good morning to everybody send happy happy energy all around Remember to be a little bit happier, a little bit happier, heading towards 5D. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Oh, huge hugs. Bye.